we've been really um, excited to see that through uh, avenues like yours on Dr. Pimple Popper mm -hmm. and others that they are having another fun level of education mm -hmm. as well. Is that something that you have enjoyed doing with that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a mix of um, education and entertainment, or mm -hmm. I, I call it you know, edutainment, edutainment or medutainment mm -hmm. even, like because it's just a, a mix of, I mean, the way you draw people in on social media is to make it entertaining. But it's also really nice. I think people enjoy it when they feel like they've learned something about mm -hmm. either hum human nature and or about their bodies or, you know, something something that you could come away with and it's not just empty. It's more like, oh, I've learned something new today. For sure. Um, so obviously you work a lot with media and with influencers. Have there been some common questions that you'd like to put rep to rest once and for all? Anything that you might be able to share with our members? Um, I mean, I don't really recommend that you pop anything. I mean, if people always ask me that and I try to, it's, I feel like it's my responsibility to sort of educate people and under, I think by my educating people on how to properly pop a pimple, hopefully dissuades them from popping things unnecessarily to cause bleeding or infection or scarring because they understand why. Like I'm a lot. When I was growing up, I was like, my dad used to get so annoyed with me because he's saying, why do you always ask why all the time? But I think that has transferred in what I do too. I try to like explain why, and I think that helps people to understand and maybe sort of follow what you're, what you're kind of telling them or mm -hmm. trying to hopefully educating them about because they understand the why behind it. Sure, absolutely. Are there any persistent myths you'd like to address? Um, well, one myth, one thing that I sort of call a myth is I, I, I don't, I, I don't love how some people get upset with their acne if they have mainly post-inflammatory erythema, which is the red spots after mm -hmm. acne bumps or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, the dark spots. Like I would tend to get more PIH or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. I try to correct my patients when they say, oh my gosh, I have scarring, like this is, these are scars. Because I really want to keep things positive and I, I, when I hear the word scar, I think of more like a permanent change to the skin. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, those aren't scars, they're gonna fade. The hyperpigmentation and the erythema will fade and you tend to get either that red, the erythema or the brown hyperpigmentation depending on your skin type. So um, I like to reassure them, and I, I, I feel like that's sort of a myth. You know, I don't want them to, to say that I have scarring, because mm -hmm. I do think that a lot of that's going to go away. 